Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how to create a platform that when you stand on it, it breaks after a certain time. It's quite easy to do, but it's very good for the video game, so let's get started now. So in the last video, what we have done is that we have done that little project where we have our player that is moving like uh, left to right, he's animated, he can jump and he can walk on the floor, there's gravity and stuff, and uh, we have also create, uh, we created that time map that we can just like draw automatically and it's gonna generate some pieces of uh, background which is very very handy and today what we're gonna do is that basically uh, we're gonna continue to uh, make the game a little bit more interesting and we're gonna create uh, some hazard for our player and the uh, first thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna create a breaking platform so I have created some assets that are just right here and I have that platform that is basically inspired by um, this part of the tile uh, the tile set that we have used for making the ground I've just redesigned it a little bit and I've made a little animation as you can see right here so if I play it looks like this okay so basically this is uh, gonna be a platform that when the player gonna jump on it it's gonna break that's basically what it is so I'm gonna just uh, export it I'm gonna export it as a sprite sheet so I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna go into my uh, folders I've already created a folder that is called sprite so I'm just gonna save it here I'm gonna export it and so now basically if I go back on Godot it has loaded it and so uh, also little some, some little changes I've made is that I've turned uh, our uh, object into scene so for that our player I just double click on it uh, so if I double click double uh, I've made a right click on it sorry and I've sav uh, saved it uh, as a scene and I've put it in my uh, prefab folder that I've created as well so I just let you do that I've done the same for the Parallax background and so here basically now what we're gonna do is just we're gonna create a new object for our breaking platform so it's gonna be area 2D we're gonna look for that and we're gonna come here and we need to add a sprite we need to add a collision shape so it's going to be a collision shape 2D and here we're going to uh, on the right menu we're going to look for new rectangle shape so like this is going to be good we're going to go on sprite we're going to slide our breaking platform uh, into textures and we need uh, something else is we need a static body 2D here and we need on the static body we need a second collision shape here it is and I'm going to add as well another shape which is going to be a new rectangle as well so I'm just gonna go on my sprite I'm gonna go on animation I'm gonna change vertical frame for two and I'm gonna change uh, horizontal frame for four and so basically what I'm gonna do is like here I'm gonna arrange the collision shape for uh, being fitting um, quite well the platform not like perfectly because I want to keep some uh, I want to have some room for just like making the game feel a little bit more natural and here we're gonna add the collision shape of the um, the area to the and so we're gonna just make it like this and like this and so hold on just like no that's that's not what I was looking to do like this ah goddamn <laughs> It's like giving me hard time. Okay, so I uh, don't want you don't want that, huh? God damn. Okay, so ah voila. Okay, so I'm gonna put it like this. And so basically that collision shape, the one of the area to the gonna be uh the one gonna be in charge of to of detecting our player when our player is on top of the uh, breaking platform and this uh, static body 2D with the collision shape that is uh, attached to it gonna be in charge of uh, making our um, player stand on our platform so now I'm just gonna rename it this one as breaking platform and I'm just gonna place it somewhere so let me put it right here for example uh, I'm gonna put it here or here. Here is gonna be better. So okay. So now I'm just saving, 
And if I launch the game, normally you're gonna see that my player gonna be able to stand on it. Voila. But it doesn't break for now, and that's normal because we need to actually uh, code the, the breaking part of the, um, the platform. So now we're gonna just select breaking platform, we're gonna click on the paper sheet icon there, we're gonna add a script, and we're just gonna put the script into the right folder, which is script. And open. Uh, here I'm gonna put no comment and I'm gonna say create so like that I don't have those annoying comments. And so here I'm gonna cancel that and I'm gonna create a function. And that function gonna be physics process delta because I need to check very regularly if our player is on top of our platform or not. So if it's on top of our platform, what we're gonna say is that we're gonna say that var bodies um, equal to get get overlapping body we're gonna go and say for body in uh, bodies if body dot name is equal to uh, no I've made a typo if body dot name is equal to player we're gonna say that um, ah, we, 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 we're gonna call an animation that we haven't uh, created yet but we're gonna already call it so it's gonna be animation player dot play is gonna be uh, destroy and I'm just gonna stop there because I need to create it first so uh, we're gonna go back on breaking platform we're gonna click on the plus we're gonna look for animation player just right here we're gonna create it and here we're gonna just create the animation so if you haven't uh, seen the last video I'm gonna show you how it works and if you haven't if if you have seen the last video you know how it works by now so I'm just gonna create one is idle and I'm gonna create another one that's gonna be destroyed and I'm gonna say okay so here on idle what I'm gonna say is that Sprite, uh, I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna key that element, create, and I'm just gonna put that one, no, I'm not gonna loop it, I'm just gonna put that one to one. Okay, and so in idle, what I'm gonna do is like, I'm gonna do the same, but basically with all the other part of the animation. So it's gonna be like this. I'm just gonna zoom a little bit more because I need space. Uh, the first time you need to uh, go here manually and change manually here on frame to go to the next frame. But then after that, uh, Godot gonna make it easy for you. So you see now I just have to click and that's it. And so my animation is stopping at dot six. So I'm gonna say dot six just right here. And so like that I have my animation that is set up and so if I go back on animation player I go here normally if I put idle it's there and if I put destroyed it works too oh, okay so now we can go back on our um, script and so here we have called our um, uh, animation and now what we're gonna do is like if um, we are uh, standing on it we want the animation to complete before the platform uh, is destroyed and so for that we're gonna call a yield we're gonna say yield uh, dollar sign animation player so basically this is calling this uh, we're gonna say up uh, so quote animation finished and then here we're gonna say q3 and else if there is like no uh, player we're gonna say that dollar sign animation player dot play is equal to idle and so now supposedly uh, our uh, platform gonna breaks when we're gonna stand on it you see and that's good so that's what we were looking to have so that's it for me i hope it has been helpful for you so if it's the case don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel give it a likes and stuff i'm gonna come with more uh, video about uh, how to make a platformer with godot and i hope it has been useful for you and i want to thank you for watching and see you 
next time. Bye.